stop taking as a personal defect the bad parenting that was inflicted upon you. Right? You're not bad at school. You're not bad at learning. You're not bad at thinking. I mean, let me ask you this. I've never been exposed to Mandarin. Am I bad at Mandarin? No. No. You've just never been exposed to it. Never been exposed to it. You're not bad at rationality, at empathy, at curiosity, at love, at learning, at growth, at planning. You've just never been exposed to them. In fact, you've kind of been exposed to the opposite. If somebody says they're going to teach me Mandarin and they teach me all the wrong words for stuff, am I bad at Mandarin? No. Not really, no. I learned diligently. <laughs> now, of course, you could say, well, I chose the wrong teacher, but we don't get to choose our parents now, do we? No. We don't get to choose the town we're born into. We don't get to choose the shitty-ass public educational system, right? Right. You just try to survive. Right. As I've mentioned before in this show, I had a teacher who said to me once, who wrote it down in my yearbook, Stefan Molyneux, if effort matched ability, you'd be an A+. Plus. Oh, you're just lazy. Nothing wrong with your environment. Nothing wrong with my teaching. Nothing wrong with the content. Nothing wrong with the world. Nothing wrong with the fact that you're forced to be here. Nothing wrong with the fact that your parents are forced to pay for it. Nothing wrong with the fact that the class is disruptive. Nothing wrong with the fact that half the kids are drugged. Nothing wrong with any of that. You just lack motivation. I'd like 95% I mean, of all the teachers I've had. <laughs> oh, and they suck. They do suck. Oh. Teachers suck. Yeah. They suck the very life ambition. I mean, if they could get their fucking proboscis into your bone marrow, they'd take that too. <laughs> They suck in just ways that can't possibly be explained to the future. Let me tell the future just how much public school teachers suck. They can't tell you why they're teaching you anything. They can't tell you how it's relevant. They can't tell you why it's important. They can't explain it to ways in which you understand. They can't tell you how you're going to use this knowledge in the future. They can't tell you how to think. They can't tell you anything about ethics. They can't teach you anything about philosophy. They can't teach you anything about empirical, empiricism. They're boring. They're droners. They're petty. They're vicious. They're control freaks. They're backward. They're retrograde. It's like some little space-time portal opened up from the asshole of the Prussian Empire and dumped all of these cluster fracks on children. They suck. I didn't even have one good teacher and I was schooled in three continents by probably a hundred or two hundred of them. They suck. I mean kids love to learn. They, they, they take an incredible joy out of learning. They're hungry, thirsty for the world. To make children bored of learning is like making Pavarotti bored of cheesecake. It's like making teenage boys bored of sex. It's like making teenage girls bored of gossip and cattiness. It's not easy to scrub the wonder and joy and curiosity out of children's souls. Oh, but they do it. Oh, they get them into a corner and they drone at them about inconsequential things. And they dart back and punish them for thinking for themselves or speaking out of turn. Oh, I have to go to the washroom. Can I put my hand up? Fuck, even cattle can pee where they stand. Fuck. You don't have to ask permission to go to the washroom in jail, for God's sakes. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, actually, I don't know if I get into that story. Uh, continue, please. <laughs> and it's not easy. It's not easy to take joy out of children. You know, with kids, what do you always have to say when they're four years old? Don't run. Don't run on the deck of the pool. It's slippery. Because they're so excited about life, all they want to do is run everywhere to get to the next thing. I took a couple of kids uh, out uh, for the day uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, 
I mean, they're great kids. I mean, my daughter and a couple other kids. And they're, and we got we had to walk from one place to another, and there was this big, <laughs> there was this big, huge giant park area. And uh, I said, I said to all the kids, I said, "Oh, kids, kids, come over here. Look at this thing on the ground. It's I have never seen anything quite like this before." They all come over. I'll come leaning down, leaning down, leaning down. I said, "Look, look, it's right under there, under the grass." And they're all down there. I said, "You got to crash down. Get underneath. Look, look right under there." They're all down there, faces in the grass, and I jump up and say, I'm going to win the race, and I go running off. <laughs> because I'm so petty, it's important to beat little children in a running race. But they la- they couldn't, they were laughing so hard because they were surprised. Right? <laughs> they were laughing so hard, they could barely run. Anyway, it was a huge amount of fun, and we went for lunch and just had a blast. Anyway, they want to run everywhere. They're so excited to get to the next thing. I asked some friends of ours uh, how their kid was enjoying school. You know what the kid liked most? The school bus and recess. In other words, everything that wasn't school was okay with her. <laughs> everything that didn't involve sitting there like a saggy-ass turnip rotting in the sun. Oh, I can't even use a sun metaphor in the school. <laughs> rotting in the damp, cloying, statist rain. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is as easy to scrub joy out of children as it is to get them to stop running everywhere, which is not something you really want want to do. But they do it. Those leechy, statist vampires from hell, oh, they managed to do it. And then do you know what we say to the children who've had their joy and their blood sucked dry by dismal teachers in a boring system, in a pointless environment, in a prison-like school? Do you know what we say to them? You lack motivation, don't you, sweetie? I guess you're just a little bit lazy now, aren't you? Oh, I think you're going to have to stay late because you weren't listening to teacher. Oh, did you walk out of the movie that was boring? I'm sorry. you go going to have to go back in, pay three times and watch it five times now. Yeah, I've seen that in a lot of movie theaters. No, they give you your fucking money back and say sorry for the inconvenience. No, not our government schools. If you have any problem... With the government schools, you are the problem. Because that's how much we love our children, you see. That's how much we care for the next generation. Laden them down with debt, drug them, inflict heavily praised single families on them, stuff them in brain-dead schools where you have to have metal detectors because you're afraid of people sticking shivs into each other. Or they're so bored they're fucking sticking shivs into themselves just for some stimulation. You know, might as well go to a concentration camp and say, you people aren't really motivated for this work, are you? What's the matter with you? We give you rations, a place to sleep. Why aren't you working harder? You must be lazy. Can we get out of here? No, 